Angela Irizarry was born with a single ventricle cardiac anomaly and required a series of operations in order to uh, reconstruct her heart. They tell me right away what she has and she was going to need three different surgeries. One when she born, the second one was uh, when she was eight months, and the third one when she was three and a half years. So Angela required the same number of surgeries that a normal child would, but in her final operation had the placement of a tissue engineered vascular graft. So sometimes a child can have a congenital heart surgery and actually outgrow their operation. So the tissue engineered vascular graft is the first man-made vascular graft that's designed to have growth capacity so her operation can grow as she grows. Angela was a very complicated single ventricle patient, but in her case uh, it was a good uh, candidate for the tissue engineered graft implantation. So we chose Angela as our first patient in the United States. She being the first one in the United States to have this kind of surgery means for me the Angela is more special than I thought. She was needing this, this kind of surgery. But with the new graft, what is going to help her is prevent another surgery when she grow up. So on the simplest level, the way a tissue engineered vascular graft is made is by harvesting uh, bone marrow cells from a patient. And these cells are harvested on the morning of surgery. And then take those cells and seed them onto our scaffold. Even with the tissue engineered vascular graft, the Fontan operation is only palliative. These patients live longer lives and better lives, but it's not a curative operation. If we could develop methods for implanting these grafts in the fetal environment, we could actually cure single ventricle cardiac anomalies, and that's what we're really interested in. Our long-term goal would be to cure congenital heart disease. So fortunately, Angela did very well with the operation, and her post-operative course has really been fairly unremarkable. Before operation, she had a cyanosis, a blue baby, but now the saturation is 100%. She's running, she's biking, so the activity was much better. Angela is very special. She's very sweet. She likes to play with her brother. She's very active. She's healthy. The most rewarding part about any sort of project like this is seeing good outcomes and watching Angela grow from a little child to a big girl has been, you know, really uh, wonderful. Do you know what you want to be when you grow up? A doctor. Why do you want to be a doctor? Because doctors help people. Really looking forward to letting her take care of my children. <laughs> <laughs>